Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and now I want to talk about the Gundam. Gunplay is made by Bandai since 1980 and the first Gunpla cost about 300 yen. And if you look now, the cost is be more pricey. And because it's more delicate, it means you have to cut the parts from the runner, clean the knob, put the sticker on it, and snap it together. Gunpla have many great online. There's a SD, HG, MG, no great, PG, Mega Size, and RG. First, we talk about HG. HG or high grade is the Gunpla with one monitor photo scale, or around 12 or 15 cm for top. Many Gunpla built in HG. The high grade is have a normal articulation and have a mist color. And this mist color use color and the price of HG is not too pricey. Let's go. Like the high grade. But I think HG is the best line below the master grade of the gun plot. Because it have a lot of this style with articulation and it have an inner frame. Yeah, a 124 scale. Have a great full inner frame and have a conflict gimmick with the MG. Yes, the price is below the MG and more complicated to build than HG. But after you assemble it and put the cam on it, it's really great for the kit. Next up is MG. MG stands for Master Grade. This is the grade I like the most. The scale of the Master Grade is 1100 and the height is around 18 until 20 cm except for the perfect seal and what i like from the master grade is the height and the amount of detail it has inner frame and it has a opening cockpit gimmick the master grade usually include the unpainted pilot figure and the articulation of so many master grade is good too okay next is not great why is being called not great it's because Panda itself doesn't give a name for this grade. A no grade scale is around 124 scale and 100 scale. And if you know more scale no grade have, please comment below. The amount of the tile of the no grade is below the MG and usually doesn't have a profit gimmick like 1100 master grade. For example, here's the no grad devil cardboard. Doesn't look a devil for me. It's 1144 scale, but there's no grade for this kit. Next up is the ribbon 1100. It's like a no grade in 1100 scale, but the amount of detail is amazing. Like the MG, but not like the MG, it doesn't have a cockpit gimmick. Now we have to scale up again to PG. The PG or perfect grade, as far as I know, is the most detailed color and the most complicated to build. And yeah, it's really expensive. The scale is 160 scale. And the articulation of this grade is amazing, as I heard because I don't have a PG. And we have the most big scale of Gunpla, and that is Mega Size. The scale of Mega Size is 148 scale, and that is big. But the amount of detail is not like the PG, and the price itself, yes, it's below the PG. As far as I know, there's a four mobile suit that Bandai released for Mega Size, and it's the Granddaddy itself, or at 78. Death 2, Normal Zaku, Zaku Star Custom, and the Unicorn Gundam. Or if you not know, with the 148 scale, you can visit the Gundam from Tokyo in Japan to see the biggest scale of Gundam. 1-1 one, one scale. Or if you don't like the big Gundla, or you think you just a beginner and want a Gundla that is easy to build, you have to choose SD. SD is the super deformed Gunpla and it have a big head with a small body to make people say it's kawaii. 
for the SD itself, it doesn't have a great amount of detail and has so many missed color. And the giant sticker. Like the Edgy, SD has many lines, like standard SD, BB Sensi, SDX standard, and the new line of the SD is SD Silhouette, who have an inner frame to make the articulation better. And that is the scale and grade of Gunpla I know, but there is still a grade for a Gunpla, like first grade and advanced grade, but it feels like a no grade to me. If you are new in Gunpla or want to build your first Gunpla, I recommend you the high grade or super deformed, because it's really easy to assemble and build. Or, if you want to challenge yourself, you can build the real grade or master grade for your first gunpla. Don't panic if you think you cannot build it, because it have a manual and box, and you can follow it clearly. But, but yeah, the final result of your gunpla is depending on your skill to build and the love you pour to your gunpla. And that's all from me. I hope this information is useful to you and see you next time.